YouTube. Drag queen does some weird things. Let's hop right into the video. Of course, you got to give me that copyright junk. Uh, so, as you can see here, you have a drag queen with some kids at the place. And here's here's one thing I want to say. Now, you can see this uh, drag queen has on a uh, grinder. And it looks like they're, um, what you would say, touching yourself. Now, I understand this. And this is something I rarely ever do. I am going to defend this drag queen. What? Trey. You're going to defend this drag queen? Yes. Not because I agree with what they're doing. I don't agree with sex work or any kind of sexual stuff like that in public. But some people are saying that they did this in front of kids. Now, once again, I said drag queens should be able to say, no kids, do not bring kids. And that very well may be in the case. But out here in the public, in the open, parents do have to take some dang responsibility you know this is a sex worker. You know they're going to do sexual things. Why would you bring your child there? Now I understand some of the kids probably just walked up on their own. And I get that. But that's not always the drag queen's fault. Not always. There could be some cases where he could put up some signs and be like, hey, nobody under 18. Maybe put somebody there to be like, hey, you know, if you ain't got an ID, but they're outside. I don't know how you could possibly make this happen. Maybe this person could have been like, maybe think this through better. But at some point, sometimes I've got to put it on the parents too. When there's a parent sitting next to a 10 year old, and I'm assuming that there ain't no 10 year old walking up on this thing. I don't know though. But if you got a 10 year old, nine year olds, a kid that there's no way that this should be on their own walking up to a show like this and you're sitting with them and cheering this on, you got to take some responsibility too. Okay. We could put some of this on the drag queen. We could put some on the parents too. Because they should not be up taking their kids to this kind of stuff. I just don't understand what goes through a parent's mind when they think, you know what? I'm going to show my son a grown man who is dancing around provocatively and sexually. I would not take my child to a shrimp club. I'm not taking my child to a drag queen show because both of them are very sexual. Both of them are an issue. Okay? There are drag queens who will be shaking their butts. You can see through everything. They'll be humping each other and all that stuff. It's, it's absolutely uh, a problem. But obviously, if you go to a strip club, you're going to see the same kind of stuff. Women kissing and all that kind of stuff and being very sexual, taking off their tops. I wouldn't take my kids to either one of these shows. But, you know, if a strip club was opened up and somebody brought a kid in and... When I bring the strip club, I'm sure a strip club should be obviously IDing people because there's alcohol and everything there. But let's just say in some magical world that a kid could get in. Yeah, I'm going to blame the parent a little bit, too. Exposing your kid to this kind of stuff. You Listen, this is what people don't understand. The more you continue, like this, a little kid going to this show is going to want to go to another show like this and another show like this and another show like this. And when you get a kid and you continue to push them into um, more sexual things, it's only going to get worse. Because when a kid's mind is developing, especially when it comes to sex, and they don't see it as see it as sanctifying as it's supposed to be between a man and a woman in marriage, when they see sex as something that is uh, something you should put out in public, something we should be proud of, just like we talked about yesterday with Daniela Hamsley, with her showing her breasts in front of all those kids, it doesn't show the sanctity of the body. It doesn't show what the body is truly meant for. That body and those kind of body parts are meant to only be seen either for scientific reasons or to be seen in marriage. You're not supposed to be seeing this out here sexually for anybody to just see. So parents, take some responsibility. And as for you, the drag queen, I, 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 I pray, man, that you find another route in this life. There is no happiness in being a sex worker. None. It's just a false joy. It's a lie. Hope you find your way out, man. That's all I have. Goodbye.